epitomizes the evolution of our run values. We have broken a few rules. The design is straightforward. It is iconic. To be iconic, it needs to be unique. This concept reminds me of my ninth grade English essays. Just like this car, they were almost entirely plagiarized, and I love it. It makes it a relatable design. The more I look at it, the more I see design features from other cars. Look at these lights. The rear were copy-pasted from Lamborghini, and the front ones, same shape as in the rear, just so happen to also look like Thor Hammer headlights from Volvo. This is the Volvo XC E40, and you can see quite a few influences on the concept. Both have a bit of an underbite, but this could also be a throwback to the cars before the 90s when the bumpers were less integrated. The rear light signature has a similar shape to the rear end of the door shaft, as does the hood area. The deep color has a similar treatment on both cars. It ends in this fashion, unlike the often seen trapezoid shape. Again, nothing new. The Hoffmaster King first appeared on Beamers in the 60s. Well, enough of the Volvo. Is it just steel features from one car, it would be too obvious. You see this suicide snorkel plastic trim and side skirt? Remind you of something? You guessed it! It's a key feature of the Range Rover. Front light bar? Everyone has one now, my grandmother included. Here's one from the Hummer EV. Hey grandma, put down the light bar. It's not cool anymore. Darn it. This copy-paste design is likely intentional to make you think of more exclusive cars. But so what? Dosh is one of the most dependable car brands, cheap in maintenance compared to cars that steal design cues from an estimated starting price for this model is just $25,000. You look me in the profile picture and tell me you would not want it.